What's going on YouTube? Today, out here in Joshua Tree National Park. humans i think this is only my second time uh, taking any type of videos here in joshua tree i uh, got out here today had some family in town visiting i decided to uh, to get into the park for a little bit in the afternoon here and uh beautiful beautiful weather today it is the end of october first stop on today's tour very touristy pretty crowded today skull rock it's a halloween video though so appropriate appropriate time of year so if you've ever been on any type of social media and you've looked up Joshua Tree National Park, Skull Rock is a, is a huge uh, tourist attraction. There are always people taking pictures. Uh, there's a ton of little boulders around for rock scrambling here and there. Uh, it, it is a cool feature. And uh, personally, you know, I'm not a big Skull Rock fan. It's nice to look at. But if you go across the street, there are a ton of kind of like uh, off the beaten path trails and, and different areas, uh, a little less formal that you can kind of get lost and explore a little bit more. Uh, and then here, you know, driving through, depending on where you are in the park, you'll see different variations and different sizes of the Joshua tree. But driving from Skull Rock to Barker Dam, there are some monsters. Next stop on today's tour, Barker Dam. I'm going to check out the, uh, see if there's any water down in the dam. Also take a look at the petroglyphs. Barker Dam, extremely uh, user-friendly, very easy, very flat. Good for people of all ages, stature, sizes, uh, abilities of hiking level. Uh, Family-friendly hike. You see a lot of kids. You see a lot of older folks. Uh, very scenic. You get a pretty good mix of, uh, of scenery. You get, you get the boulders. You get some really cool rock faces. And then you also, depending on time of year, you might see a water feature and even some ducks, birds, turtles, tortoises, whatever, down in the dam. No water in Barker Dam today. I figured there'd be some water. We've had a lot of rain lately, but it is dry as dry can be out here. All right, so here's the actual dam. There's an inscription here. Bighorn Dam, built by Willie Keys, 1949, 1950s. So you're not supposed to walk on the dam, obviously. But yeah, you can tell there was, there's been water recently, but. Nothing running down there right now. Beautiful views from up here, though. So right after Barker Dam is this weird formation, the circle thing here in the ground. This is actually an old horse trough from when this used to be a grazing area. Uh, all right, we're going to take a look, see if we can see the petroglyphs today. Looks like there's a pretty big crowd up here. But we're going to check out the petroglyphs, see if they come in good on camera. So these petroglyphs are apparently close to 2,000 years old, painted by some of the native tribes of the area. Uh, they've been subject to vandalism in the past. Uh, lately, they've been painted over to make them more prominent on the rock face, obviously detracting from some of their natural beauty. But, you know, humans are going to human, and they always have to mess things up. So here we go. We painted over the petroglyphs. Uh, but they are still pretty cool. It's interesting to see. All right, so that was a very quick, very small tour around Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, today we did two of the easier tourist locations, Skull Rock, very popular, and Barker Dam. I think it's about a two-mile hike. Uh, very flat, very easy. Uh, Joshua Tree National Park, obviously huge, huge uh, national park, the size of the state of Rhode Island. So obviously uh, only saw a little bit of it today. But hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.